Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you're checking out a serum tip and trick tutorial video on ADSR. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get more musical results using some of the more interesting and unique filtering modes or types inside of Serum by simply using the key tracking feature. So what I mean by that is there are a bunch, there are a host of really unique filters inside of Serum, and a lot of sense for that matter. And those are things like multi-mode filters, which have more than one filter at once, maybe the, like a combination of a low pass and a high pass, or maybe a band pass and a high pass, or maybe you have three, like these down here, where it's low, band, high, etc. Or maybe you have a synth, especially like obviously with Serum, you have these flanges or flanges, they're with like comb filtering, flanger filtering, phaser, phaser, uh, and just different types of phasers and all this crazy stuff that you can do. And then you also have these miscellaneous filter types inside of Serum. You have things like the reverb filter, which is crazy. You have things like sample and hold, all that sort of stuff. So I would say by far the most common type of filter used on a synth preset. Like if you actually ran through the stock library of Serum and went through every preset, most of those would probably be, well, not most, but the majority, over 50% would be low pass or high passes. And I'm not knocking those filter types, but you can get some really interesting results on really common sounds using other types of filters. So if you're a dubstep producer, a trap producer, you produce heavy music, maybe you make like rhythm basses, that sort of stuff, you're going to be using these filters already. And I don't want to get into the technicality and the specifics of these different filters. I have other videos covering this at great length now. Uh, so just check out some of the other synth tutorials I have on the ADSR network. But I wanted to show you how you can get really musical results in genres where the sound still has to carry a melody or a chord or that sort of thing. So let's just listen to this, to this little track right now, and then we'll dive into some different filter modes and see how the key tracking affects it. All right, so that's what we're working with here. I gotta turn the hi-hats up because they're bugging me. Okay, so this first patch is this one right here. Sounds like this. And I'm using a multi-mode filter here. So let's investigate this in Serum, shall we? So what we have is I'm using one of the multi-modes and I'm using a peak and peak. So it creates like these two little nipples. I don't, notches, you can call them peaks, I guess, but they look like nipples to me. So what we have here is I have, I have key tracking on. And when key tracking is on in any synth or any part of a synth, it's going to look and read the notes that, you're, that are incoming from the MIDI. And it's going to track the pitches that you're adding to that or maybe the taking away if you're using a low pass. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it sound more musical. But when you're using a filter like a low pass or a high pass, usually there's not enough boost or reduction where you need to do that. So let me show you something cool real quick. So let's just copy this preset so I don't lose it. And I'm going to turn, let's just turn off, um, let's turn off this oscillator and this oscillator. And let's turn off the filter. Okay, so there's not a lot of pitch there, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the key tracking and let's just crank the resonance up. Do you hear that pitch that the resonance added? And see how it sounds good right here? Like on those first two notes, it sounds fine. And then some notes it doesn't. That's because key tracking's not on. And when you're using a filter, like a multi-mode filter, the flanges, the miscellaneous one, and you're adding up frequencies to the sound with the filter, it's going to be much more musical to key track. So let's listen to this key track now. And you can see it moving around on screen. The frequencies are moving around based on what I'm playing. So if I play a note here, right, it's moving around, it's key tracking to the keys that I'm playing, which makes it sound really musical and really nice. So listen to, listen to this exact same lead without a filter, right? It's not nearly as cool. It's because I'm using the resonance and I'm key tracking the resonance that the filter is boosting with these two peaks and I'm basically getting this tone that's coming just from the filter that's being added to the oscillators like A, B, and noise in this instance. So let's check this out on a different type of filter. So I'll mute these two sounds. And I believe if I labeled this correctly, this is coming from a flanger. Let's listen. All 
All right, so let's solo that. And let's turn off the key check. There are some notes. There's like this weird glitch going on. Again, the key tracking is going to track all the frequencies. And that gets really cool because, for instance, what you can do is you can start to modulate some of this stuff with like an LFO. So let's do the frequency, just to, the high pass frequency. I'll leave it as an envelope for this, and we can even do the resonance here, but then all the resonant frequencies that we're adding are gonna be in pitch with what we're playing. If we turn this off now, not nearly as musical. So let's check it out with the reverb filter finally. All right, so the reverb filter is one of the craziest, coolest filters I've ever heard in any synth. And uh, let's take off the uh, key tracking for this. It's actually dope, but um, let's turn on the key tracking. You got this real interesting, we're cutting a lot of frequencies and then we're also adding a lot of frequencies in. So there's with the resonance all the way up, which is quite a bit of added frequencies coming into the filter. If I turn off the key tracking, I can't imagine how weird this will sound. So see how it lost a lot of its musicality? It's almost like this weird reverb. Right, so this is something you can do to use these more unique, interesting filter types. So maybe load up like a patch from a sound set, your library, something you made that's a little bit basic. Maybe it's just like a pluck, or saw, square type lead, or plug, or bass, or whatever, and try using one of these filters and applying the key tracking. Now you want to, if you want to, you do this. I would suggest using the interesting filter in the actual filter on the main oscillator page of Serum because if you do it in the effects filter, you can still use those filters but you, you lose the option to key track there. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time.